Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So for today's video I'm going to be filming my monthly haul and it's going to be a mainly Primark haul because I've literally had four bags worth of stuff out of Primark. I've managed to get it down to two bags but yeah there is a lot of stuff in this video so it's probably going to take me ages to get through it all. So if you do enjoy watching this video don't forget to leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and without further ado let's jump straight into it. So the first three things I've got are all pyjama based. Um, so the first one is this unicorn set of pyjamas. So it just says believe in unicorns and has sequins here. And then it has the pants which have unicorns and rainbows. And they say always believe and then they're cuffed at the bottom. And these were £10. And then I got this Tinkerbell top which just says London on it. I think this was £6, yeah. So we just got um, Big Ben and the Tower Bridge. And then Tinkerbell, and I thought this was like really, really cute. The other pyjama top I got is this Beauty and the Beast one. It says, I only wake the tea. It's got Mrs. Potts and a chip on it. And this was £6 too. And I like the frills at the bottom of it here. So this is going to probably seem really bizarre because I've just filmed like a minute of the video. But sitting there just wasn't working because if I show you, I have all these bags to get through. And I just, I couldn't really just grab my hand in so I'm going to move here because it's a little bit more convenient. So this next thing I'm actually really excited to try out tonight and because I've like filmed the haul I can finally take this out of the packaging and it is this mermaid foil throw. So it's one of these mermaid blankets. I've put off buying one of these for so so long because I feel like everybody has them and there was none which I absolutely love but this was only £11. It is so snuggly and it's this like pale pink glittery like beautiful material i'm literally in love with it you can see it's sparkling in the light so i'm gonna be snuggling up with this tonight now autumn's coming and the days are getting colder so I just move you slightly that way so i'm more in the middle but yeah the next thing i got is another throw yes i do own about forty thousand primark blankets but I mean you can never have too many so I actually got this Beauty and the Beast one so if I show you the card with what it's like so it's this pink colour and then in white it's got all the different characters out of Beauty and the Beast and this was £6 and I like to throw these on my bed or on my chair or just kind of lounge around in them on a lazy day so yeah i feel like with primark blankets they're so soft and so cheap you can literally never own too many of them i am also trying to collect the whole of the beauty and the beast range there's only one more thing i need now so i'm doing really really well i know this is part of the christmas range but i think you can use it at this time of year so it is the calendar block it looks like this so it's got the unicorn horn and then you put the you like turn the blocks for each day and then it's got the months on this bit here now i know that like it does say 25th of december so obviously it's meant for christmas but you could have this all year round right and i was thinking it'll look really nice on here with this background and this was only five pounds and i've seen these for a lot lot more than that it feels really really good quality so i'm very very happy with that and the final thing in this bag i am so excited to show you it is the Mrs. Potts teapot. I managed to get hold of it. So this was £12, which for Primark is quite big, but look how big it is compared to the size of my head. So there was literally just, a, do you know like you have a display bed? And there was just, this was literally just sitting there on it. And I was like, oh my God, I need it. And mum was like, well, I'm not sure we can carry that the whole way home. And I was like, oh yes, we can carry it. So I got this and I'll just take out the packaging to show you just looks like this and obviously it is a real teapot like oh my god but I will be using this for display so you might be wondering where am I going to put all of these beauty and the beast things that I keep on buying but I'm going to be changing one of the squares in that unit thing I normally film on and I'm going to be having a pure beauty and the beast one so my chip mugs all my Mrs. Pop stuff um like this purse here i'm gonna have everything in it so it is gonna look amazing now moving into the second bag of stuff from primark the first thing i got was the candle purse i think this is really cute because it like it kind of dances um i don't know how you would use this as a purse exactly like it is quite a bizarre shape but i mean i 
guess you could. So this was £4 and obviously I got this to add it to my collection. The next thing I got is, it is out of the kids range, it was £2. It's this big um, purple pom-pom keyring and then it's got a Mrs Potts and chip like keyring hanging off it but I'm not too keen on the chip it does look a little bit weird but I thought if I get car keys or anything like that you can never have too many key rings as you will see later in this video but then I did actually find a proper chip key ring a few days later which was two pounds this is like sparkly and I just think this is so so cute I also got the wardrobe key ring out of Beauty and the Beast which was two pounds as well and then I got these Spongebob pins, so it's got a pineapple Patrick, like a gold Spongebob and then a normal Spongebob and these were £3. But no idea what I'm going to use them for but they just look really really funky. And then I did manage to pick up the wardrobe purse, so this was £4 as well and this will be going in my display unit. And then the final purse which you can get hold of, I have never seen in my life, it is the clock. So this was £4 and it was literally, it was just hung up on a shelf like this, there was only one and I was like what on earth is that and I turned it around and I was like oh my god it's the clock out of Beauty and the Beast. So yeah I got this as well, I've never seen anybody with this or anything like that so I feel like I am the proud owner of one of these right now. So of course it can't be a Primark shop or in my case four shops because I went in on four different days last week without some fluffy socks. So I got these ones which I think are supposed to be like a unicorn kind of but they've got all these this like dirt on the toes which I didn't realise so they'll be going in the wash. And then I got these panda ones too because I live in fluffy socks in winter because I like lounging around and they were only £2 each so yeah. And then I got this pair of cosy footlets which are actual unicorns and these were £3.50 and um, my feet are like a six and a half. I had the sizes it six to eight ones last time and they just stretched and kept falling off so I've gone for the size three to five this time. I'm hoping they're not too small but if they are, they were only 3 50 so I mean, it's not the end of the world. The next thing is really boring, it is just some plain black tights, which were £2, so that I can like wear skirts and stuff now the weather's getting colder. I got this Spongebob keyring, which was £3, which I think is a little bit ridiculous, but in the Nickelodeon store in London, I would have justified paying like £10 for this, so yeah, it just looks like that there, and I think it's really, really cute. I've just realised what am I doing and I've got another chip keyring. Am I obsessed with chip? Perhaps I am. Yeah this was £2 as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these keyrings. And then I got the Toy Story shorts. I've been looking at these for ages and I was like you know what I'm just going to pick them up because they look really cute. I mean I'm probably not going to get much use out of them now because it's cold at night now it's coming to winter but they were only, oh my god they were £5. I swear the shorts are only £4 in Primark. That, that's kind of annoying, but yeah, I will get wear out of them even if it is next summer. So the final thing in this bag, and I think the final thing from Primark in this haul, is just this pack of three pairs of shoe liners. So they're just the Me To You ones. As you can tell, I have an obsession with Tatty Teddy. Um, and these were, well, it says €3.50 on the back. So I'm guessing they were £3.50, but... I'm not entirely sure. So a lot of the rest of the stuff I'm going to show you in this haul, even, even though it is called a Primark haul, is going to be like makeup related. But I thought I'd just throw it in there. Anyway, the first thing I actually picked up today and it is the Makeup Revolution Soap X Highlighter Palette. So obviously Makeup Revolution, I've done a collaboration with Soap Does Nails and she's released an eyeshadow palette and a highlighter palette. The eyeshadow palette is £10 and this is £8. So I've been looking for these for over a week now in Superdrug and today they were putting them on the shelf and I managed to pick up the highlighter palette. It's got press shades and baked highlights. I'm not actually been able to get hold of the eyeshadow palette yet but I hope I will be able to at some point. I think these were £2.99 each, I'm not sure. Um, I got the Colour Tattoo 24 Hour Creamy Matte Eyeshadow Thing, which is in Creme de Rose. 
Uh, the colour tattoo is by Maybelline, which I'm going to try out as an eyeshadow base. And then I got the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade 110 Ivory because I love Maybelline powders. And then my beauty blender's a few months old now, so it smells a bit like disgusting basically so when i was in selfridges the other day i picked up another one so this was 16 pounds and i really like this because it's got this light pink tie-dye effect on it i prefer this quite a bit to my normal pink one and then i've just got some basics so i've got the super drug cleansing facial wipes for dry skin and then some cotton pads just to take off my makeup so I went to Cheshire Oaks this month where everything, it's like a designer outlet so everything's designer but discounted. So the first thing I got is the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in Mango Mango. This was reduced from £17.50 to £12.25 and it is this lipstick here. I've wanted to try one of the MAC Retro lipsticks for so long but I've not been able to justify paying that much. I didn't realise in the shop how luminous orange it is. But yeah, I think this is definitely going to get a lot of wear next summer rather than now. And the other thing I picked up was £5 and it's a sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water just so I can try it out. I also picked up one of the Stila Magnificent Metals Eyeliners. I didn't actually realise when it said black gold that it wasn't going to look like the packaging and was in fact going to be black gold. It was reduced to £10. Yeah, I don't really think that is a true representation of what it looks like on the packaging somehow. It is a lot, lot darker, but it's this really weird consistency, but it is very, very dark, so I won't be getting much use out of that. I could use it as an eyeliner, though, like the packaging says. And then I got the NYX Hydra Touch Powder Foundation in the shade 2 Ivory. I think this was like £8 because... My MAC Studio Fix powder is running out so I thought I'd try this out because it looks similar and it's a lot lot cheaper. I also picked up another one of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils and this is in the shade 625 Sparkle Nude. Get the lid off. This was 650 and it's just there. And then I also got the L'Oreal True Match Concealer in the shade 1N Ivory. Uh, I just thought I'd give this a go and I think this was £8. I also picked up the Maybelline Fit Me Blush, which was £2.99. A white pen from Paper Chase, which was 50p. And then this top from Jack Wills, so it just says Wills on it. I think this will be really nice to like tuck into some jeans or something. And this was reduced from £26.95 to £18, which is really good. So I did actually go to the Trafford Centre on the weekend. So when I went into Miss Selfridge, they've done a range with pineapple and they had 20% off everything so the first thing I got is this cropped jumper which just looks really nice to lounge around in it's actually inside out so yeah it just says pineapple down the arm there I know it's like half on one side half on the other it is absolutely huge because that is a size 4 like oh my god um, and that was £22, I think it was reduced to £17.20. And then I've been living in leggings recently, so I also picked up these like yoga pant leggings, which say pineapple down the leg, and they were reduced from £16 to £12. They don't smell nice, they need to go in the wash. I've been sleeping for too long, I'm losing my voice. And we have made it to the last bag. So Skinny Dip actually have a shop in the Trafford Centre, which I was so, so happy about. I actually love this little bag and um, so I went in there and I picked up this unicorn phone case it's one of them ones where you like to shake it and the glitter comes running down so this is for the iPhone 6, 6s and 7 plus and this was £18 which is a lot for a phone case but skinny dip do really nice phone cases so I just thought I'd pay it so that is everything I actually have to show in this haul. If you have made it to the end of this video, congratulations. It's been a long one. So yeah, if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I will see you very soon in a brand new video. Bye!